Now we will be building example Node.js project with GitHub and VS Code and see how VS Code is providing inbuilt functionality of version control. I assume you have installed Node.js and VS Code already. Now let's create an Express project template which is a Node.js framework. Copy the command and paste in CMD. Now you can see project folders with all required modules have been created inside folder. Now let's run our project using the provided command which is set debug equal to new folder and npm start. Open the browser and check if our project is running by using localhost colon 3000. Yes, it is saying welcome to express. Now, let's check if this directory is monitored by git. For that, we'll open git bash here and see git status command. No, it's fatal error. This repository is not managed by git. So, use git init command to make it a git repo. So, use git init command to make it a git repo. And then check status. All files are right now on track. Let's open Visual Studio code using code dot command. Here you can see node modules folder that we don't want to track. So we'll add its name to git ignore file. So for that, create a file with dot git ignore extension and add the name of node module to this file. Now you can see the node modules folder have been grayed out and it is not been tracked by git anymore. In the left you can see an icon with blue bubble which is actually embedded git tracking mechanism of visual studio code now if you click on that it will provide you plus icons against each file to add it to staging area we'll click stage all changing for staging all files For committing, press the tick sign and add the commit message and commit will automatically get performed. To double check, we can always refer back to git bash and check git status. And it is saying to us no untracked file. The next step is to synchronize this local directory with remote github repository. For that, to create a new repository. Now copy the second set of commands because we have already a local repository to push. Come back to your local folder and open git bash and paste all these commands here. Git push will upload all the project directories and files to remote github repository. We can refresh our github repo page and we can see all the files are uploaded here. Now, no more git bash is required for the course of this project. The complete cycle of stage, commit, and push could be managed from Visual Studio Code. Let's create a readme file with using markdown template and add some text as project demonstration. Now you can see the icon has been bubbled up again on the left side. Click on that blue icon. 
and add the file to staging area and then commit with some message. Commit using tick icon then at the bottom left click to push these changes online to github. Refresh the github repo in browser and our last commit was pushed here. In empty file hash represents heading but I forgot to add space so let's correct and recommit that. Again, stage this file, commit this file and push the changes to remote github repo. Refresh this page. Now. Now we can see the heading here. We can see all the commit history over here also. Let's check commit history of uh, readme file. For that click on readme file and click on history button. After that click view at this point in history and you can see the older version of this file we can also look at side by side comparison of two files to visually differentiate the changes on github you can see all the changes between these two files have been represented visually